Ah, good morning, intern. Glad to see you back. Ah, oh, you know, I mean, I know this is the kind of tank they prefer, all simple and spartan, but don't you think it's a pity that there's just not more in the tundra areas? I mean, you know, can I, can I, I want to sneak in some deep sea please. I'm going to sneak a couple of those guys in there. Hopefully they'll be okay. This is not the most ideal uh, situation for them to grow in, but I just can't stand it when it's just a, a boring, empty, flat tank. I just, ah, oh, come on. I mean, life finds a way all over this planet. Why can't life find a way in the tundra area? <gasps> giant clam okay I know the clam wouldn't be very happy if it was inside the tundra exhibit though probably too cold for it oh but deep sea coral oh don't make me say no deep sea coral in turn oh just a couple more just a couple more but yes good news so I stayed late yesterday and did a little bit more work there's actually uh, quite a bit of pathways and whatnot now constructed on this side of the zoo oh what's this what's this Zooink Designs is running a trade piece on maximizing guest amenities and is particularly interested in your zoo's offerings. They will mention your zoo in their article, boosting your zoo's fame, if you provide them with pictures of some of your amenities. You need a photograph of the following. Gift cart, kangaroo bouncy ride, small restroom, any food stand. We're going to pass that up. You know why? Because we have evolved beyond such things as a small restroom. Are you kidding? One of our advertising points is that we offer family-sized restrooms throughout the entire zoo. Yep, that's actually something that we uh, advertise about because it caters to families who need to plan ahead about those things. Let's see, anything else we could stick down here? Oh, what are you? What are you? You're just some ivy. Ah! Oh, it's a little, a little, little plant of some kind. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? What are you? What are you? I like you. You're weird looking. What about you? You're weird looking and cool too. I want to stick all of you somewhere, but you go into reef biomes, huh? Ooh, they're cute. Look at them in turn. Aw, man. <gasps> oh. Ah, you know I get into trouble <laughs> if I dig around too long in these though. Oh, come on. Sea stars, sea stars are like everywhere. Practically, I'm sure. They're, I'm sure they're hardy. Just a couple more, just a couple more. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, it's so hard. So hard to stop myself. Oh, Cleo is going to give birth. Wow! Manatees! You are certainly working on the going forth and prospering part of being a manatee. And they live forever. Look at the baby, brand new baby. Aw. Aw, there's so many babies. Also, where are all our guests? Holy moly, where are all our guests? There's a couple. We're gonna move the belugas, guests. Looks like they're all coming over here now. Is it because of our awesome new whale? I bet it is, look at all this. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably put this lighthouse gazebo in more spots. But that's going to have to wait, because I do think it is time to start transporting some of our beluga family over here. I'll show you the little setup we've got. Meow. I'm so sad we had to sell those dolphin arches. They are so going back there as soon as I can pull that off. But, right over here, here's their show tank. Made as large as I could possibly manage over in this area. We're gonna block those off eventually so people don't have to stare at them. We're gonna put something here so it's nice and pretty. This is gonna be a restaurant. Hmm. Why are you upset, sir? Oh, don't be upset. Please don't be upset. I promise you that lemon is fine. Just lemon's also very cranky. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the prehistoric animals from here, which I really like. I like how we're starting to connect the entire piece of the zoo. Then there's going to be like more decoration or shopping, probably a little of both right there. And then you come down here, and there's a little there's a little underwater area. I'm so proud of myself. I made, oh, well, don't look at that. <laughs> I made such a nice little underwater area. Guests can at least walk down it. So all right, we're gonna go through and do the hard work of sorting through our belugas. Bernardo, how are you doing? 
Wow, I think that all of our, our beluga shows are actually canceled. Because we're out of the belugas that used to perform there. <laughs> oh, that's sad. All right, Beth. Beth, you can stay. Uh, Beth, do you have family? Bernardo the third. Bernardo the third. You may stay. We'll have to keep some of the younger belugas too. His mate is Beatrice. So Beatrice the second, right over here. Uh, apparently, there's two Bernardo the thirds. I'm sure that's a mistake. I hope or not. Might not be. Okay. Blue the second. We'll move you over here. Let's just go down the list this way in turn. Because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of belugas that don't make the transition. Beluga 83. Hmm, female or male? Female. We'll keep you. We're up to 109 animals in this zoo and 14 species. Let's set a goal to try to get up to 20 species pretty soon. That'll be, that'll be one of our new goals. Beluga 81, you can go. Beatrice, you've been around here forever. You can stay. We'll add you to this tank. Let's see, Beatrice the second, you can stay with your mom. But the third, you're already here. Beluga 74 is a male. We'll let you go. Beluga 84, also male, but you're young. We'll keep you. We'll keep you and- ooh, we'll name you. We'll name you. Oh, hang on. Oh. Ah, I remember now. El Blanco. There we go. You're the new stud of the tank, El Blanco. Alright, blue gate 82. Male, you can go. Blue gate the second's already there. Blue gate 80. Surfing. El Blanco is your child. You are the mother of El Blanco. Or the father of El Blanco. You must go. Let's see. Hmm. Beluga 78. I think we can afford to keep the rest of them. Let's see how this goes. Beluga 76. Man, there's so many belugas. Okay, I'm, I'm changing my mind about the keeping all of them now. Beluga 87 can stay because it's just a baby. Let's see. Beluga 88. Also, whoop, well, we adopted Beluga 88. That wasn't intentional. All right, there's Beluga 86. Got to make sure we get all the young over here. Let's see. How are we doing now? Doing good? I'm gonna pick up their pursuit ball. I'm gonna put their pursuit ball in their new tank. Fancy new tank. You guys are really gonna like it, I think. Everything else good? Woo! Let's get out of the way of the helicopters. They're squirting the belugas out. The beluga tank is now empty. Oh man. Talk about the end of an era. Just that ladder. There we go. Wow. And actually, we can sell everything in there because we're going to have to redo the tank. I want to do a strip of land uh, for the seals so the seals have a little bit more space. And we can move this. The training area we'll keep because we still need to train the belugas. What do you think, guys? It's a whole new world. You doing okay? <laughs> They're like freaking out over the space. I hope in a good way. You doing okay, El Blanco? Oh, look at him go! Welcome to your new home, guys! Oh wow, Cleo the second just gave birth too. Oh, look at the little starfish. You can see the little starfish. Oh, I hope you like it. I hope you like it, everybody. This is your new area. It was designed to be not as silly looking as your old tank, so that you can actually have space and room and be happy and play here. Alright, let's come back over here. And... It's because we want the seals to be able to pop out over here. Hmm. I don't think we have the seals... Is that a rock over? Nope, that's an emperor penguin. Hmm. We don't want a lion. We don't want a monkey. Hmm. Short fin pilot whale. Oh, we could put a short... I don't think that she'd interact with the short fin... Oh, Alice in the second just died of old age. I don't think she'd interact with the short fin pilot whale, unfortunately. That's oh, look at you! You're so cute! You're not from this kind of zoo, though. See, Emperor Penguin? You like the tundra. 
Can we put Ember Penguins in with them? I think the Belugas would try to eat them. But I think potentially it could be okay too. Maybe. Maybe. But I think the Emperor Penguin prefers to have a little bit of land. So maybe we won't do that. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, they eat the same fish. He likes some large ice flows. Hmm. That is not what we wanted to learn about. Herring, honestly. Emperor Penguin! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They really do like a little bit of land. Uh, they come ashore to breed, too, which could be very important. And I'm worried the belugas might try to eat them. Would you try to eat them, Beatrice? Is that what you would do? Toothed whale, closely related to the dolphin. Let's see, they are born either black or dark brown, turn milky white at five years of age. Males can attain 23 feet, females are somewhat smaller. They enjoy feeding on fish, octopus, crabs, snails, and squid. Oh, so they would actually potentially leave the, the, dull, the like, uh, emperor penguins alone. That makes me kind of want to put emperor penguins in here. I wonder. I mean, we could always lower these things and put a little squat thing of land, like, just blink. A little, a little thing of land. What do you think, in turn? I think, I think that might be something we should do when we have money. Which is not right now. In fact, let's get rid of everything. Like this. That's fine. Because the shows have been gone for ages. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of some of these. We're clearing house, in turn. My expensive rocks. My expensive rocks are going. All my plants are going. Why? Why, you ask? Well, we won't delete. We won't delete the bubbler because we need the bubbler actually. Whoa! The gentle, slow-moving manatee often rests in shallow waters, which can cause them problems, particularly in areas where people use power boats. Each year, dozens of manatees are killed or severely injured in collisions with power boats. Marine biologists at Marine Oceanic University rescued a manatee injured by a power boat. The researchers would like you, your zoo, to care for the manatee, then release it back into the wild after it fully recovers. If you release the manatee back to the wild within two months, the university will donate a pilot whale to your zoo. <gasps> oh, we're, we're so doing this. Where are you, baby manatee? There you are, western manatee. Okay, we're gonna rename you. You're gonna go over here. Can we rename you? Okay. So, injured. Good gracious. It's hard to type on this tiny little cell phone. Don't judge me. Injured manatee. Injured manatee. So that's the one that we need to release back into the wild. Uh, at the end of a couple months. Is, it, is that you? No, that's just Cleo. Peach! Peach! I love you, but I don't have time right now. Where is... There's the kelp. Gonna get tangled in the kelp bed. Is it you? No, I think that's Cleo again. Is it you? Jeez, where'd the manatee go? It needed a little scrub-a-dub. Injured manatee. That's Jackson. That's Manfred swimming with his wife Molly. I love how, how they stay with their mates. For the most part, western manatee, blah blah blah. Some new manatee blood in turn. Might mate with some of our current manatees. Where are you injured manatee? There you are. Napping. Groom, heal. You, you doing better? I'm sorry that you got hit by a boat. There you go. Alright, let's take a good look. Whoops. Take a good look. Okay, gonna let him rest, and there should be plenty for you to entertain yourself with here, injured manatee. A nice little rest, don't worry. Good, already doing better on privacy, already doing better on rest. Oh, and there's plenty of lovely ladies who I'm sure would like to get to know, or excuse me, gentlemen, who I'm sure would like to get you to know you better, so let's see. Yeah, that's going to be, like, pretty easy for us to take care of, if you ask me. And in fact, when we release that manatee back out in the wild, we might release a whole bunch of other manatees back out into the wild, too. Because we're kind of getting high up on manatees. Alright, let's put the clam bubbler over there. 
I think they're enjoying it. Also, I think we need to put uh, some donation boxes over there. Now that, now that I noticed. Let's put a donation box. Can we fit it right in this corner? Will that work? Mm, not, not the way I want it to. So we'll just go ahead and put it like... Maybe not right there, because people might want to go to the, like... There, yeah. People might want to walk along here and look at stuff. Are you going to donate, sir? Can't wait to see some animals. He's enjoying watching the blue guys chase each other. Actually, maybe we should put the donation box like over here. People can walk around it, but then we can put benches over here eventually. We'll figure it out in turn. We'll figure it out. As it is, we need to keep our eyes out. I'm excited that we have that manatee, by the way. That actually, that's actually pretty fun. All right, get out of here, get out of here. There we go. All right, now we need to see if we can find not you, not you. Our last dolphin, false killer well. So we've got this Caspian seal, and he'd be kind of cool. Wow, this is going to be much more room than the seals need, I think. So you keep the recommendations. Caspian seal. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Goodness. A nice bit of information about them. They're vulnerable. I kind of would like to add them. I think the seals would get along okay. Same sort of habitat and everything. Definitely can't afford that killer well. Borneo River Shark. Definitely can't afford you yet either. You're my dream. One day. Okay, well, Shark, we'll come back to you. Same with you, Shortfin. <gasps> Rockhopper Penguins! We need more Rockhopper Penguins to add new blood. New blood into our territories. Let's see. Not gonna get you yet, prehistoric animal. Not gonna get you, bird. Not gonna get you. Oh, hey, what's this? Caspian turtle? Oh, we could possibly put it in here and have like a little Caspian tank. Hmm. I'm sure they would both appreciate some land. But I don't know. Would they? Would they? Oh, look, it's our babies. The babies are back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and the water filter's full. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, also, I forgot we had a baby otter born. Where's our otters? Hello, otters. Hello, Kim the second. Kim the third. Oh, we're getting low on otters. Jeez. I guess you're gonna be like Scott the fourth. We'll have to save up and get some more otters too. Sally's pregnant. Beth the third is pregnant. We're not having any problems that way. Definitely having some breeding things. All right. Well, man, we've got all sorts of projects going on. Let's back out for a second and look over here. Look at this. Look at how much more complete our zoo is starting to look. And actually, you know what? This empty little puzzle piece of an area right here definitely makes me think that it would be fun to add in. The little guys again. Hi, cutie. Oh, just got to save up for them. So I'm going to save up for them in turn. I save up for their area, but the rock of penguins cost just as much. Let's see. And what do you want, mugger crocodile? No, I'm not going to get you. Hourglass dolphin I would really love to get. Okay, what does the Caspian turtle want? Actually wants a whole different area. It is freaking cheap though. I wonder if we could put like the little Caspian turtle right here. It just wants some wetlands. Ooh. You could just like put it right here in an itty bitty tank. A little Caspian turtle tank. I like it. I like it. Just a teensy thing. In fact, we wouldn't even need an aquarium, I don't think. We could just do like normal... Normal water. Hey! Hey, I think we're gonna do that. I don't see anybody else who's really... Hmm, I wonder where do flamingos go? I wonder if we could just put some flamingos in there with them. Well, I think that's what we're gonna do in turn. We're gonna put the Caspian turtles in here. Because <laughs> we need more attractions, and that just like was perfect timing. The Caspian turtle. They're very cheap, so we can afford it. Hmm. The wood fencing. Should we use the wood fencing or something a little fancier? Well, the turtle babies might crawl through. I'm always worried about that. Low wood slate. Low wooden fence. But does a wooden fence look professional enough? Or does it need to be a brick fence? Or a stone fence? 
Ooh, the underwater fence I think will work. I don't know. That's not very uh Caspany turtley now that I think about it. How about we just go with the low bamboo fence? That makes me feel good. Alright, then let's come over here. See, we're getting to our goal of having a nice diverse amount of animals. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> nope, that was the wrong way to put it. Wrong way to put it in turn. Eh. At least this bamboo fencing's cheap. Ah, there we go. <gasps> yes! We're back up to the number of stars that we want to be at, which is five in turn. Never be confused. We always want five stars. Dang it. Why aren't you just gently turning like that? See? Elegant. No, oh, well that's not very elegant either. Oh man, it's so low! I hope the turtles don't try to make a run for it. Come here, Caspian turtle. You're super duper cheap, so... I think we'll be able to afford you. What do we think if we turn this area in? We might change the fencing in the future in turn, but I think actually it's gonna be okay. Then do a little of this magic, uh-huh. And then... Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. How about on this side? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's like this little oasis just sprung up. Nice and deep water. There, like... So you can just go straight in. Let's see, do we have enough room? Put one of these. Yes, but not much more room. So actually I think if we can put a clam bubbler somewhere down here. There we go. Kind of a buried clam bubbler, but there, there. That'll work out much better for entertainment. Hmm. And then... Oh jeez, the belugas don't have filters! <laughs> no, that's definitely not okay in turn. <laughs> I just realized that. Definitely not okay, okay. So we're gonna stick the beluga filters back on because holy moly. Talk about the dirty water. There we go. I'm coming, Belugas. I know, I know, you don't like the dirty water, etc, etc. Also, I need to reassign zookeepers. I need to get your shows going. I need to get your trainer back over here so she knows where the heck you ran off to. It's chaos. We'll get there in turn. Right now, we're focusing on the fact we're gonna have a couple really cute turtles. Let's see, and we're gonna pause so that we don't lose those cute turtles. Alright, cypress tree. I like it. Mangrove tree. I like it. We're gonna stick it. It's kind of big though. New. Oh, that's really cool. Look at these trees! They're amazing! Oh, they're so neat! They take up a ton of room though, so... Let's see, put one more there. Then... Let's see. Like the weird root thingies. Cool. And then, let's see, put you over here, some nice cattails, oh what a cute little like oasis thing that just sort of, sort of like pops up, it's like boom, check me out, this is where our Caspian turtles are, and it's such a nice little, little break up from, from like everything around it, just this little spot of green tucked in between all these aquariums. I like it. And soon we'll have our other little guys back. I can't wait. Our itty bitties. Meaning our little... Oh, 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 that's so cool. Oh, we're gonna put a couple of those in there. Oh, man. See, my friend Ben, the zookeeper Ben, who I take many classes from, by the way, I learned so much from him. He knows my weakness. And thy name is Plants. Ah, boom. Boom! Aquatic insects! That is so cool! 
There you go. I'm glad I made it so marshy now. There. Some aquatic insects in here for you. I think he's gonna be okay. Oh, look at that! Freshwater foliage bed. Oh my gosh. There, it's gonna be hard for people to find them. But you know what? That's gonna be half the fun. Oh, we didn't put any rocks in. Hmm. Not really that much room for rocks, though. Might just tuck a couple of them in. What do you think, in turn? I think that this is very exciting. I think we're finally getting our feet under ourselves. There we go. We have this little oasis right here. I'm gonna have to remember to put a gate on it. Though zookeeper could probably just like step right over it. Wink. And I mean, look, look at how our zoo is finally turning out. It's just really starting to come together. All the details, all the details and the layout. We're moving things, we're redesigning areas. Oh, it's just, it's coming together and I'm so happy. All right, let's get a gate over here before I forget, because we want this guy to be taken care of. Let's see, put you... Nah, da -da -da -da, right there. All right, and then... Look at how teensy they are! Look at how tiny! Wow! Splashy water. <laughs> I hope you're soaked to the bone now, Intern, because I know I am. And here go our Caspian turtles! Oh, look at them! Look at how cute they are! Oh, I do have that weakness for reptiles, though. I will admit it. And look at their beautiful tank! Oh, it felt so good to deal with something that had to do with plants and trees again, even if it was just for a minute. Hi, guys! Hi, cutie pies! How are you? Well, alright, in turn, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time hanging out with these ones and making sure that they're doing okay. Also, maybe getting a... Whoop, bush there. Also, getting some of the technical details, like the trainer hooked up and making sure that the tricks and the shows are going again over here. It's slow going, but we are getting there. We're turning into a real marine zoo. I'm really excited. I've learned so much from Ben, and it's starting to show in these itty bitty little, little premium exhibits. Ba boom! All right, bye bye. Go home. Shoo, get out of here. You smell like fish, and you need a shower. 